Retired Marine Lieutenant Colonel and current San Diego Police Officer Larry Turner has announced he is running for mayor of San Diego as an independent. And what do you know, I get to chat with him, uh, and I think it's our first KUSI studio interview, is it not? That's right, first time in a studio. Well, uh, young man, <laughs> compared to me, uh, do you know what you just walked into? Because this is going to be a hailstorm coming your way. No, I know, I know. I've been through some hailstorms before in my life, so I'm ready for this. All right, so the decision as to run as an independent, is that a calculated one or is that a core principle of yours? No, oh, it's been a core principle of mine. I've always been an independent. I've always been an unregistered voter. I was a Marine Corps officer. I felt that it was important to stay as an independent, leading men into war and all the deployments I did. I wanted to make sure that they, they saw that I was following good orders and, and uh, good missions and that it had no kind of political bias behind it. Well, watching your announcement yesterday, I, I think any political analyst would say, oh, that's a good first step. <laughs> because you hit on a lot of things that I think a lot of people, you said, I want to, I want to, I want to help people who don't look like me as well as, uh, you, you kind of have a, a universal appeal, I guess is what I'm saying, from a political analyst standpoint. Yeah, well, thanks. Uh, I, I do. I mean, I, I have uh, been in the Marine Corps. I've been around uh, people of all colors and ethnicities and races and uh, religions, and uh, I've led them. I've, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm married to uh, a, a first-generation Mexican woman, a family of immigrants. I've, I've just... Uh, always molded into the community. The, the culture here is fantastic in San Diego and that's why I've made it home. Well, only because I brought it up. Let's roll us, I think this is uh, some of your yesterday's talk. Take a listen. All these years later, I can no longer tolerate watching elected officials who repeatedly fail to deliver on the promises that they made when they were running for election. So I come to you with a promise that I will unite San Diego. I will bring about the change that we need. The promise to unite sounds great, and I applaud you for it, but it's a divisive world we live in, and I don't know, I don't, a lot of people just don't want to be united. It's my way or the mm -hmm. highway. Well, that's sad if that's true, and I don't think it is. I, I talk to the community every day um, in, in my role my current job with the police department, I do speak with community groups, business groups, all manner of individuals, homeless. You know, I've got friends all over the place out there, and they're ready to come together with a common cause. Well, you see the problem firsthand on the street. I mean, I, I live in OB, I see the problem firsthand right. every time I walk my dogs. And you, you get to, you start to know people. Yeah. You, you, I mean, they're not just the homeless person, they're Ed or Frank or right Sandra on. or whatever. So, uh, in your view, what is the city doing wrong to fix that problem? Well, um, you know, having Everything? just a, well, <laughs> not quite. I mean, there's some attempts there, but you know, the attempt with a, a empty promise parking lots is is not the way to go. You know, we need wraparound services. We have got to treat these people like people, like San Diegans, and they are. And you mentioned, you know, talking to these people, knowing their names. I lived in OB for a little while too, and um, out in the East Village, I, I know many of these people, and I call a lot of them friends. And uh, some of them have my phone number, and we talk about things that are going on out on the street. And I try to help them out, but um, you know, being able to talk to each of the people out there, uh, they all have different needs, and it's not some cookie cutter approach that's going to work. So, you can't just drive by and look through your car window, or or shoot a shot from across the street. You have to get out there. You got to go in the tent, talk to them. But people are flowing across the border, and the pro we're getting left off in the street, and everywhere you look, yeah. things are costing more. Yeah. Uh, uh, my question, why do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah, you know, just drive around and you'll see why I want to do it. You know, you see how San Diego is just deteriorating. It, it was the finest city. It's not the city I remember, you know, and uh, it's not the city right now that I'm going to feel safe raising my kids in or, or starting a small business, and I want to get it back to that. Well, you'll be able to judge how well you're doing by the amount of victory that comes, comes your way. Every yeah. arrest you've ever made is going to be scrutinized. <laughs> I yeah. mean, have, how well have you vetted your life to yeah. say that, you know, two weeks from now we're going to be hearing about some arrest that you're going to have to explain in great yeah. detail? Yeah, you know, people can always come out with some, some story. But I, luckily, you know, I had a lot of life before I became a police officer. I'm, I'm not the, the typical police officer. I, I joined a little later in life. So a little more mature, a little, a little more knowledge on how to speak to people and, and handle situations than, than the younger guy. I joined when I was 40, 45, yeah, and uh, went through the SWAT Academy when I was 48. 
I'm, a, I'm always the older guy on the team. And I just know how to deal with the situation. I'm a little more mature. I've been a, but a leader in the Marine Corps. For every person who says, hey, I'm going I'm to fix the swamp. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I can think of a former president who, said, who, yeah. who ran on fixing the swamp, and the swamp ate him up. Yeah. I, I, taking on the swamp can be fatal. It sure could. I, I would tell you that I think that the difference here with me as an independent is I already have a team of folks on the left and the right, and I have brought them together already. Uh, you'd be amazed at some of the people on my team. I've got a lot of big name folks on both sides, and they've come together. We're just trying to find solutions without politics. And uh, when we come into the office and we're working together, it, we don't discuss the hot button issues that are that are dividing the city. We talk about let's fix this city in four years. How can we do it? And we've got a really good plan to do it. And I've got all the people around my table from both sides. Be careful who you trust. <laughs> I, I, I just, sure. in, in this game, this yeah. game is a vicious game, and the person who answers your phone could be, be the person selling you out. I mean, it could be. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying, you, uh, the, it makes you jaded. I mean, yeah. it, it, are you ready for that? Yeah. Taking on that kind Look, of change of life. I, I am who I am. I'm just an average guy. I'm a marine. I'm a cop, and uh, I'm not going to let this political world change me. You know, somebody asked me the other day, uh, "Am I ready for this world of politics?" No, my my career has not. Uh, built me up for the way politics are now, but I'm gonna change it here in the city. But honestly in the city We shouldn't even know who the mayor is. We shouldn't be hitting oh. Potholes and stepping in poop and and no and thinking of the mayor all the time We should have the city running so smooth that we're not thinking about who the mayor is. All right This was the introduction interview if you come back We'll hit, we'll get more specific more issue driven. Okay sure enough. Yeah, thanks I, I appreciate you making time for KUSI well, thank you very and making much. us your launching spot. It's great to see you. Uh, Larry Turner is running against current mayor Todd Gloria who announced his reelection campaign back in June